Oh, I hear sounds that are weird. Okay. I hear weird sounds. I just hear, like, crackling noises and stuff. That's all I'm hearing. Okay. I'm gonna just... Stay by the light. So I can gain my sanity back. Okay. I don't have any, uh... Okay, I don't have any oil. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Okay. That means my... My sanity is a little low. Definitely, definitely a little low. My sanity is a bit low. Ugh. Oh, the sounds are just unpleasant. They're, oh, the sounds. Oh, man. Okay. I have light. That's good. Now my sanity can... Oh. What is this? The valve has rusted shut. Okay. I just... Okay. I just need to find out where I'm going. Okay, so this is an area... Okay. I just need to go... Okay. I guess I should probably just go in here. Okay. Look at this light to... To increase my... Oh, okay. Here is a... Ah, drill part. Here is a drill part. Okay. So got ourselves a drill part. Uh, what what are the drill parts used for? I wonder. I wonder what the drill parts are used for, though. Okay. I just need to be quiet, and I, I don't need to be seen at all. Otherwise, that'd be bad. If I were seen, that'd be very bad. Okay. Ah, light. Yes, light. Uh, 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 bug, uh, bug on my, oh, bug on my face, uh, gross. But I got a tinderbox, that's good. Ah, another tinderbox. We're doing so well with tinderboxes. We're doing so gosh darn well with tinderboxes. And another tinderbox. We're doing so well, actually. We're doing pretty well. Yes! We finally got some oil. Okay, we, f we finally got some oil. That's good. And, okay, I didn't, I didn't need to light it, but... I guess I wasn't gonna go back there anyway. Um, probably not. Okay, so... Is there anything I need back here? Um... Probably not. Okay, so that's done. That's officially done. Okay. Light this up. Because it needs to be lighted. It needs to be lit. It needs to be lit. Very bad at grammar. Don't know why, but I am. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna grab myself another tinderbox and I'm gonna read this page and there we go, okay. Page. Regarding explosive mixture, Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brained servants this before you go with your plan ahead with your plans the liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps i have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients all you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go okay and that's from agrippa i'm not sure if i pronounced that correctly but but it's a, it's a weird name. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. 
But I, I sure hope I did. Otherwise, I just like but butchered his name. Okay. So. I don't really need to. Oh! Okay, there's just like a wooden plank. Okay. It's just like a, a plank. Like a little block of wood. Okay, what am I doing now? Um. I have three more. Okay. Okay, so is there anything to do down here now? Is there anything more? The valve has rested shut. Okay. That's great. I haven't gone in here. Right. I haven't gone in here. So that's progress. I haven't gone in here yet. So that's the thing I need to do. Ah, okay, P picked up drill part. Okay. I picked up a drill part. And we're pretty good. Nice. And it seems like we may be good. Okay. And another tinder box for good measure. And also, also I forgot to fill my oil thing. Fill my oil tank. Uh, where's the oil? Yeah, it's right here. And there we go, so, so that way I can clear my inventory a little bit. See ya. Okay. So, I feel like I don't really need my chemistry pot anymore, uh, since I've already used it. But, who knows, I might use it. I might need it someday. So I'm just gonna keep it. Anyway, so, so I guess I've explored everything down there, so I just... Come back up. And all that stuff, okay. Hopefully that monster isn't gonna... Hi. I was about to say, hopefully that monster isn't... Okay. Hopefully that monster doesn't come by. Hi. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. Heck. Was she like murdered or something? Oh, it won't budge. Oh no. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, okay. There's a uh, another tinder box, and also um, I'm gonna light this up so I can put this away and then memento it up. Memento it up. The rubble from a cave in is hunt hundering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Okay. Just find a way to get through and all that stuff. Okay. So, I can't get through from that. Okay, machine parts. Okay. That's what that is. wonder if there's a chest around here with items that, 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 I, that might be useful. With some goodies that might be useful. Like, uh, like some tinder boxes. Cause I sure do like me some tinder boxes. Oh, oh I didn't notice this. Wait. Oh, it's just a. There's not. There's just. Okay, that's just like a chest thing that I can't open. Okay. That's great. That's perfect. Okay, so we've officially explored everything down there. So now we can go back to the back hall. He tried to fit the pieces together, like, but like the sand dunes, they shifted. When you weren't look, looking. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. It's like witchcraft, almost. It's almost like witchcraft. Okay. So let's, uh... Open this up, and... Okay. So, so, so let's uh, go and explore what was down over here. Because I was wondering that. Oh, a lot of stuff actually. Okay. Oh. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? 
Yes, the Colosseum, a Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Hmm. So I guess are we are we either going up or are we going down? I guess we're probably going down, maybe. Okay. Well I guess let's okay, it's not working. Okay. So that means another memento is having to be done. Okay. Uh, find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay. So that's all. Okay. So is there anything else in here that I can get? There's, There are some candles, but I don't need to light them because it, there is enough light for me to have enough sanity. Well, also, oh, that's a nice bird. That's a nice bird statue. Okay. Machine room. It's locked. Okay. It is locked, so... Memento it up. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to machine room. Okay. I just need to find the key. Cool. Okay. So, um, I haven't been up here, so I'm gonna go up here and explore... Okay, so... So here's a study, and then here's the guest room. Um, I'm gonna go to study first, cause why not? Why not read a few books? Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left considering all the hands that had passed. Hmm. He's cracking my knuckles right now. Hmm. All that stuff. I like this music. It's a very, it's very relaxing music. You know, it's very relaxing music. It reminds me of uh, this Irish music that I like to listen a lot. Um, because I really like Irish music. It's just really good. Um, there's some Irish music. Um, it's called um. It's an Irish band called Enya, which you should definitely listen to. It, it, it's one of my favorite Irish bands ever. So yeah, it's one of my favorite bands um, is uh, Enya, and it's very peaceful. It, they do like very peaceful music, and yeah, it's, it's awesome. You should, it, it's just, you just need to listen to it. It's, it, it's just, I can't really explain it all that much, but you just need to listen to it. Like, it's, it's awesome. It, it's it's really nice. It's really pleasant, is what it is. Okay. Someone's coming. Uh oh, what? Someone? Is it? A, is it a a monster again? A shadow? Whatever it is. Letter regarding to the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend. Joan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Persian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. Man, that's a long time. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It sounds like, uh, that sounds Latin might mean something it was as it was as it was told about an underground mithraic temple co crowned with the unearthly artifact the orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged its color washed with while rich contrast is not enough to describe its nature it was an impossibly an artificial paradox captured within stone. That's an, that's an interesting thing to, to, to describe it. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the ant, ant, antiqua, antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern 
I went inside and suddenly I, f I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. They were definitely real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life. But it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled... Uh... Oh man. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby a ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to lure them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. But I, when I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black, with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the growing ember grave gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genova. Oh yeah, Genova, that, that's in uh, Italy. Um, that was actually, uh, believe it or not, that was actually where um, Cri Christopher Columbus was born in Genova, Italy. So yeah, um, that's actually in Italy. The more you know. Uh, if y'all haven't known that, then now y'all know. The more y'all know. So yeah, and that was where Christopher Columbus was born. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still unto this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the hollowing cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research in the my mythic orbs and I realized I owe you the truth about my visit to Altstad. Your friend and mentor, Hen Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Agrippa. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. So that's his last name. Okay. That's, I see. So that's his last name. Well, that's cool. That, that was a nice letter. That was a nice and long letter. About, uh, about the orb and stuff. Okay. So what seems to be going down here? Hi, ah, here's uh, here's some things. Okay. Okay. So let's see what's in here. So there's okay, chambers of the human skull. Okay, that's what that is. Okay. And there's a there is a, a hammer. Ah, there's a. There, there, there's, there's a dog statue or whatever it is. I think it might be a dog statue. It might be. A... I don't know what it is. Looks like a, looks like a dog statue. Anyway, so. so there's. Oh. Let's see what you have to offer. Ugh. <sighs> Poor animal? What even was this animal anyway? Oh, it was a dog. 
It was like a dog. I think, at least I think it was a dog. Oh, I, it's head. Uh, why? Well, that's one reason I need to kill Alexander. Uh, he's sick. Okay. Here's a note. Animal experiment. Canis lupus familiaris. I think that's a, the that's the species name for the dog. I think. 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agi agitation found among humans can be found in the, in the dog. Okay, so that so it is a dog. Yeah. Why would you kill a dog though? That's sad. Anyway, fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is, ble it is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from this exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be pre performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to perform the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. I, I just don't get why you would just kill a dog for an experiment. I mean, I get it. You need to know more about it, about an animal or, and like dissecting or something. I don't know. But you don't need to like kill it though. You can just like... I mean, I guess I didn't have x-rays back then. So I guess, uh, I guess he was correct on that note. I guess he was correct on that note. There were, there were no... There were no x-rays back then, in the, in the 19th century. There were no, okay, ah, here we go, so here's a tinder box. Here's a tinder box, and, oh! Oh! There's skull and bones, okay. Well, that's pleasant. That's very pleasant not okay let's read this anatomy frontiers 1658 january 9th further disappointment the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing i'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power i sense within it i shall pursue more books on the subject but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans animate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they will would provide less of a hassle to acquire. Man, jeez. Alexander, what the heck is wrong with you? Alexander, like, what the heck is wrong with you? Ugh. You're just a sick person. Oh, okay, so... And my lantern went out, okay. I need to back away from the light. I, I need to back away from the darkness, okay. Back away. Back away from the dark... Oh, there's some wind blowing, okay. Just some wind blowing. I don't know why I got started that by that. I didn't. Okay. Uh, which one I hadn't, hadn't I read yet? Um, find another way around the rubble in the city. Okay. Cool. Find another way. So we should just be able to... Okay, so we need to find another way. And... 
Oh man. My Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. I have a feeling I can probably get past this. The cracked window panes are held together only by a weak wooden frame. Okay, so I, I just need to find an object to throw it at. Like this chair. I have a feeling this chair might do it. And three, two, one. There we go. Okay. And now that chair is gone. Okay. And now we're outside. Now we're officially outside the castle. Picked up tinderbox. Okay. So I just need to jump across here. I have a feeling uh, this might lead us behind the the rubble. Oh great. Oh this is where all that is. Oh great. Ah. Oh, okay, so so we're here now, and there we go. Okay. Something is wrong. Oh, so wrong. Something wrong? Okay. Great. Um, what happens? Will it be my turn? Ha have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even wasted a breath. Yet yeah, I bow to you. I have done so much for you and I gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was, who, it was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Okay, interesting. I don't know why he's br blinding uh, Agrippa for this, whoever, whoever it is, but okay. Very interesting. Okay, so got a flow cycle rod and... Okay, so I got, I got some tinder boxes. Okay. Okay, read read this page. Okay, elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use a steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up eight and down eight. Make sure the flow is set accordingly according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, four phase amplitude, and complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay, well, that's cool. So I've gotten that. Okay, so now there's nothing right here. Let's see if there's anything here. Ah, more more tinder boxes. Uh, two more tinder boxes to be exact. And okay, so this is this is the area behind. So this is the rubble I just got past. Okay. So we definitely made some progress. That's good. Definitely made some progress. Definitely made a lot of progress here. So that's good. Although we although I although we did need to, to find a key though. We did need to find a key, so I feel like it might be here somewhere. Or maybe it might be in the guest room, who knows? And either that or it might be in the guest room. So I guess it might be in the guest room. Maybe. The the key. To the to the machine. Oh, okay. How's it going? That's great. Okay. At least I made it. That's good. And now I'm just running back, and we're all good. So I've explored all those areas. So now I can go back. To the back hall. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one with an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Okay. Alright, so now I can go into a guest room. 
Is this another dream? He thought and screamed at the talk at the top of his lungs. Okay. I, I wonder who, which person this is telling the story of. Is it Daniel or somebody else's? I have a feeling it might be Dan like the backstory of Daniel or something. Okay. Lost his journal, okay. So, he lost his journal, okay. So Daniel lost his journal, I need to find him his journal. So that's great. Oh. I found some Ladonum. And, okay. There's nothing in there, okay. Now let's read the paper. Second of July, oh, his revelations. Okay. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Yeah, yeah, it does seem very concerning. Okay, so... What's in this room? Ah, another tinder box, that's good. And, oh! I got myself a crowbar. That's nice. Alright, let's see what's in here. Is there anything in these... Okay, nothing... Nothing and a lot of nothing. Okay. A whole bunch of nothing. Okay. Now let's go ahead and read the paper. And okay. 3rd of July, 1830. Is that a Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. Mm. I dug through the trove of documents Had a yawn he there. carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Yeah, that's definitely confusing. Yeah. Alright. The door is stuck due to a broken lock, okay. So, oh yeah, right, a crowbar. Crowbar could be used in this case. Aha, crowbar. And... There we go. The key. Please, let it be here. Okay, so the key is probably somewhere. Okay. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. 
shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Yeah, this is very interesting. Whoa! Wait, can the pic- Oh, that picture can be moved. Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Nice. Okay, so I can... So obviously, here's the key. And a bottle. There we go. And... Machine room key, there we go. Nice. So, so what's in here? What the? Oh no! No 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 no! Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. Already. Okay. Hide. Okay. Great. I hear noises. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. If he's there, I'm dead. Okay, he's not there. He's, he's not here. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, I guess he broke the door down. Huh. I guess he broke the door down. That's interesting. Oh! Well, 